So I just want to take a little bit of time. I know I talk about it throughout other videos, probably occasionally as far as what we're doing with second plantings. I just want to quick go through the garden. Now's a good time to show you um, our second plantings coming up or um, things we've just planted, where we're going to plant as beds come open. Um, so in a high, in a, in a garden, if you want to keep it productive, um, especially in a smaller area, you got to keep the beds planted. And obviously it's always better to plant something that is um, of value. Um, I guess cover crops still have value, but um, to make a living at least, um, you want always to have protection going in the beds. Um, so we'll start here. Um, this is where our sugar snap peas were. See our potatoes are coming up, our late planting of potatoes. Those we put in, so the pea plants were still here. We're still picking them. About two weeks before we we're done, we put potatoes in. And when the peas were done, we pulled the plants and just put them in the walkway to die off and add as mulch. And now we got our potato plants coming up. So that kind of keeps something growing all the time. And these, these days now are the most valuable. They're, I guess the days are technically getting shorter, but they're still very long and warm. And so to maximize your growing um, potential, you gotta get your second plantings in as quick as possible. Even an hour, losing a week now will take two, three weeks in September, October to, to equal what you're gonna get now. Um, so you always want to get beds planted as quick as possible. It's not only better for your second plantings as far as taking off and growing, um, but for soil biology, when, the, when you have moisture and warmth this time of year, the soil biology is really hungry, and so you gotta keep plant roots growing in the soil to, to help feed those microorganisms. So here we had lettuce, and this bed here won't get planted until the cucumbers are done because that's kind of engulfing. But here you can see we have carrots coming up. I uh, hope you can see here, but they're... So sorry to see the carrots now, but a couple weeks they'll be greening up more and you'll really see a nice full bed of carrots. Oops. Here we have our first fall planting of broccoli. So these beds were empty for a little bit because our, our garlic was really early this year. And then our fall planting of brassicas, we just did the normal time, which meant there's a little bit of a gap since the garlic came out sooner. Um, yeah, these will harvest probably in October. Got broccoli and cabbage and our sweet um, potatoes which I've talked about between the garlic they're coming in nicely here's our strawberry beds that we've killed off and I think I talked about this last video or two um, you see our winter squashes are already starting to bush up nicely so yeah, these will really vine out cover that here we have potatoes they're not coming up yet got carrots here now this will be planted to beans when we're done with the carrots and the buckwheat again with beets they're starting to green up in there nicely and our sweet potatoes, we started to harvest these onions and the sweet potatoes are already ready to take off. So those were kind of two first plantings put in at one time. The uh, sweet potatoes kind of being the fill in for second planting um, schedule later in the season. So here we just harvested our potatoes. So now we're gonna be planting these. We got a bed of beans here that I see some, there's one starting to poke up. There's one right there starting to poke out of the ground. So we have beans in that bed. 
and we have a planting of carrots it's not up yet this one's right after the other planting that I showed you this is the next succession um, and I'm not quite sure the rest here I may just do a succession of carrots um, kind of whatever it's right now it's carrots beans lettuce that we're kind of continuing to do successions outside until we get into August when we get a nice cool spell in August then we'll start planting spinach for fall uh, we'll start planting radishes again turnips um, so that's still some time away so we will probably be planting these beds to carrots beans and, and lettuce as the second planting here we got our zucchinis and cucumbers I just showed you in the last video a couple more rows of potatoes that we pulled. Um, so these black raspberries, I'm going to go through here soon and cut out all the vines that produce this year. These long, tall vines here are the ones that I can produce, produce next year, and a lot of them are growing over. So I'm going to thin out the ones, the canes that produce this year. They're going to die off anyways, and then these I'm going to prune back to open up this bed again and I'm not sure if I'll plant I might plant some spinach or like, like fall crops in there if not I'll just cover crop that bed um, in this bed it's kind of hard to know exactly what to put here um, I may do a row of beans like I did on the other side of the zucchini I may do a row here because these uh, cucumbers will eventually vine over but the beans I find are good they do, they do good with competition from a vining crop next to them. Um, where sometimes if you plant lettuce, things like that, they don't compete very well with squashes. But beans kind of seem like they, they will do fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it for second plantings. You see most of the beds, besides the potatoes that we just pulled the last couple days, those beds are, are open. Besides that, even though some of these areas don't look full, like something's bushed out and growing in them, there are things planted there that in the next couple weeks will really pop and fill in and, and really um, go into overdrive with photosynthesizing. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, eat well, live well.